Well, there she sits. She's officially mine. Now, I'm not going to go over this thing in too much detail because a lot of the information is already online. You can just go to YouTube and see all the videos about this van. I did the same thing. Okay? We got a roofing crew putting a roof on one of the townhomes where I live. Oh, yeah, there's the Mr. Fix All van. That's the legend. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is the legend. 12 years, that van has broken down one time. Well, excuse me, twice. That's it, 12 years. Now, it's going to be replaced with this. A 2020 3 liter turbo diesel Mercedes Benz Sprinter with, uh, I'm not sure how many miles on it. It's like 35, it's not many. Okay, let's get in it. I gotta, let me, ah, I brought my beer out here, man. <laughs> I'm celebrating, celebrating the van. Okay, let's see. Unlock. Oh, it unlocks everything with one click. Okay. Let's give her a look-see. Okay, of course all the lights come on. Nice. Let me, uh, let's get the old beer back. Uh, in fact, we'll set that right there. Perfect. Now this has got an integrated floor already in it, as you can tell. It's made of wood, but they got some sort of laminate. It's really hard. Scratch resistant. And you can see how big this thing is, man. It's huge. Huge on the inside. All right, let's go to the back. Hell, I can't even hardly get the thing into the camera. Hold on. There we go. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Look at that, look at that damn cargo space, it's insane. And I'm 6'3", with shoes on, I'm 6'4", just basic tennis shoes, and the ceiling's exactly one inch taller than my head, so it's like 6'5", six, six, on the inside. Now depth, I'm not sure, probably 10 foot, maybe longer, probably longer, it looks longer. And uh, with all that stuff, I don't know. I didn't memorize it, I just bought the damn thing. <laughs> But look at that. So much potential. And of course, it's got all kinds of safety features. You know, backup camera. It's got warning indicator lights for uh, if a car gets too close to you. There'll be a, a big red light that'll show up in the uh, side view mirrors. The dash looks pretty basic, but there's a lot of technology in it. I'm surprised. Um, got Bluetooth, overhead, storage, storage everywhere. Drinking cup holders, more storage up there, more storage up here. Uh, just... And then, then too, the way they they finished the driver cab, the way they did that headliner and that side foam application, so it gives it a kind of finished cab look. And there's tie down anchors everywhere. That's what impressed me about this. There's so much standard stuff, and it's already pre wired for a trailer, a tow package. Just need to put the hitch on it. All the wiring, you can see all the wiring's covered in plastic tubing all the way around so the good fit and finish. But I'll be honest with you, you know what really sold me on this van? It's the seats. I, I just absolutely love these seats. Of course, I got the Mercedes-Benz hat. But these seats are, I mean, luxurious armrests. And these are extenders. They extend out, so... You have to pull 
let's see if I can get it, because I have to do it with one hand. There it is. See? That's nice. It gets up underneath your kneecaps. Nice. And uh, power lumbar, four-way power lumbar, and height control. So that'll raise this, uh, the seat up and down. This uh, goes uh, raises the the back uh, forward, uh, adjusts the back forward and uh, uh, backwards, and it does. It is re a full reclining. It's full reclining, so you can sleep there. Air conditioning system, radio. On the other side, of course, even height control on the seat too. It'll pump it up and down. So there's a lot of features to the seat. Power windows, doors lock, tilt cruise. And let me grab my beer. Uh, I won't go through all the engine specs because you just get that online. It's a, a three liter turbo diesel with a seven speed transmission. Ah, there we go. I gotta have my first official, uh, let's see. Yeah, it fits right there. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Nice steering wheel. Fancy. This instrumentation cluster has a lot of info. It's, got, it's basically it'll tell you all kinds of information. Your headlights for the side view mirrors, power doors and locks, your cruise, of course. And like I said, I just fell in love with this seat. They got all kinds of. Now this is access to the fuse panel, and on the other side is actually a little storage compartment. So that's cool. So interior just. I mean, let me just say this: the interior on this van is so much better in quality than any of the other products out there. Dodge, Chevrolet, Ford, they're high tops. Let me tell you something, not even close. In fact, I looked at all of them, and to be honest with you, there was absolutely zero, zero comparison. This Mercedes-Benz just hands down is a statement of luxury. That's all I can say. So there you go, a basic overview it does have 16 inch tires. They're Michelins. They're the better ones. The LT245, uh, 75 or 16 Michelins. So they're pretty good treads on there. A lot better than that Ford truck when I first bought it. Sprinter. But yeah, man, look at that space. And I've got so many possibilities with this. The big thing is that I can haul anything in it. I mean, it's just, it's that big on the inside that there, the space is just incredible. There's a great view right there. And look at, look at the front view. Going down the road, you look like you're in a tour bus. I lie to you not with these side windows, the way they're split. Interesting. They gave me free mats. So I got some free mats out of the deal. They didn't want to give them to me because they were 160 bucks. But I said, I'm not buying a van unless you give me the damn mats. So they did. I like to whine a lot when it comes to purchasing something. I want a deal, man. I want a deal. But look at this. This is cool. And tie down everywhere. So it's real important. See, look at that. even duels back here. And you know, that's funny. The other, the other manufacturers didn't even offer it, <laughs> you know, and, and some of them didn't even have a damn floor in it. So, you know, what can you say? You had to go all the way up to their 48. And, and here's another thing. Uh, Ford, their high top, the one that's, that's in the category of this was exactly the same price and half the features. And another big thing, too, it was a gasoline engine. The Ford was a gasoline engine and this Mercedes-Benz is diesel. And the fuel economy is so much better, so much more power. Uh, I mean, it's just incredible because it's got extremely first low gear, a low first gear, and then it has two overdrive gears. So it makes this van very, very uh, efficient on the start and also on the highway. Okay. 
it's uh i'm in this video here i'm sure i'll do more but the bottom line is you get the picture and there's so many so much information on youtube um about these vans so you can and, and the conversions the the stealth converge conversions that you can do with these is just incredible the amount of space you have in here you can you can really put an apartment in here go totally off grid okay i'll talk to you guys later leave those comments